Hello guys, welcome to iTech blog. Today we are going to learn how to install OpenShift client OC on Linux and Windows. So I have created an outline of the course. We will be downloading the OpenShift client, then we'll proceed to install on Linux and then on Windows. And also we'll do the verification if the client is installed properly or not. Let's get started. There are multiple ways to download the OpenShift client. One is directly going to the OpenShift repo. And the second one, if you can connect to Red Hat OpenShift container platform, there is a small question mark here. We will have to click on this question mark and go to command line tools. As you can see here, the OpenShift CLI is available for Linux, Mac, Windows, etc. etc. So let's get download download the Linux version. For this test, I'm going to use the repo. We can directly download from this repo to our Linux machine. Let's go to the OpenShift version 4 folder within the repo. Then go to clients. Um, I think it's an OCP and OpenShift client copy link address. Let me paste that in a notepad. Okay, let's verify. It's OpenShift client hyphen Linux 4.1.0. So that's the version we want. Let's copy this thing, connect to your Linux machine. I have Red Hat um, Linux installed already. Let's see if there is LS, there is nothing. Let's call this web link. It's downloading, it'll take a while, all right. Okay, we have the file now. Let's untar it. Copy and paste. All right, as you can see here, we have OC client as well as kubectl. And if you're familiar with Kubernetes, kubectl is a um, CLI. Let's do an LS. We have OC client there, and it is in my folder. And if you run OC now, it doesn't work because we do not have the environment variable set. Let's do that. Let's set the environment variable in bash RC. The OC client is in my home directory. Now I'm going to edit the bash RC. Let's set the path. My name, Om Krishna. Then we have to path. That's good enough. Let's save the file. Let's verify it's in bash RC. Okay, looks good. Now we have to restart the bash RC. Perfect. Now let's run OC. Perfect. As you can see here, OC is installed and the version is the latest version, version 4, OnePlus. Now we can proceed to install OC in Windows. Installing OpenShift client on Windows is a pretty straightforward process. We have to go to the same OpenShift repo and select OpenShift client for Windows. Once you download, unzip it to some folder. In my case, I downloaded it to C OpenShift CLI and as you can see there is OZ. Now copy the path and add that path into your environment variables. Like this. I've added it into my environment variables. And now if you go to PowerShell OC version. Take a while. 
Perfect. As you can see, we have OpenShift client 4.3.27, which is the latest one. That's all with OpenShift client CLI installation. Thank you.